Hey everyone, Mrs. Peterson here, and I am in my classroom in Mrs. Peterson's Student Media in Clever. And today we're going to talk about starting your Curvado portfolio. When you open my room in Clever, you will see that the very first thing here is a Curvado portfolio. So you're going to click on that, and it's going to take you to Curvado. Now, um, if you're going to sign up, you're going to sign up and you're going to choose the free one. And, it, and then once you choose the free, first and last name, capital, capital, your school email address, your password that you can remember. And it's going to put your first and last name here and that's a good one to keep. Check mark and create a portfolio. I already have it, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Sign in. Okay. So when you get there, this is going to be this is this is going to be empty. And it probably won't even show up like this. It'll show up like this where there's an upload button, and that's what we're going to start with. So on your computer at school, you will have a, you have a folder with all the work that you've done so far this year. So you're going to push upload, and you're going to go to that folder, and you're going to find something to upload. I will tell you, if it is a CR2, if it is a HEIC or if it is a Word document, it will not upload and I'll deal with that later. So when you upload it, it's going to look like this. So I've uploaded this photo <coughs> and the first thing you want to do is give it a title. Okay, a title has capital letters and if it's the word in, an, a, or the in the middle, it is not capitalized. But everything else should be capitalized. And I want something creative here. So it's not just uh, Jaden throwing the ball. Okay. So I called this one up in the hoop. So I do give you a grade at the end of the semester for your titles. So be very creative here. You don't have to do the width or the height. You can put the year if you want. You can put the price if you want. That's up to you. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to write some comments and description. The first thing is what the assignment was. In this assignment, I was supposed to take a photo of a moving person or object. If it was an ISO assignment, if it was a graphic design assignment that had to do with the pen tool, if it was a menu, for those of you in AAVTC, you're going to write down what the assignment was. The next thing you do in the same place is you're going to write something about it. So think about when we do those self-evaluations and I have you write answers to a bunch of questions. So the first question you might think about is number two, where you explain some of the things you did. The second question you might think about is what you liked about this. And you also might look at the question that says, if you did this a project again, what would you do differently? So for instance, I could, uh, in this assignment, I was supposed to take a photo of a moving person or object. I could say, I used shutter speed on my DSLR camera to help get this effect. If you know what your shutter speed was, because we did do some of that, that's why we wrote it down earlier, you could write that down. If you're writing something for graphic design, you're talking about Photoshop. You're talking about what you did in Photoshop. If you are in Canva 
and you made something on Canva, you're talking about where you made it and what you made it with. Photoshop is capitalized, so is Canva. So make sure you capitalize those. The next thing you can put is, if I did this again, I would want to, and so in this case, straighten out, straighten out the photo. Also, I can write something that I liked about it. What I liked about this photo or assignment or present or whatever it is you're putting up here, what I liked about this photo is the action that I caught. What is it that you liked about this assignment? You write that down. So I should have three, four sentences here. Tags for here would be Photoshop. For some of you, it might be Canva. Can Canva. If you put a comma after it, it, it gives it a tag. It could be, I could put basketball. I could put yearbook. I could put, if you were did it in Canva, you could put that. Um, later on, we will add some more to this, but you want to get all this done today, all right? I'm going to go ahead and put save, and it's going to save it to a gallery. Well, we have not named your gallery yet, so let's scroll down, and it says gallery title. So I want you to click on this, put your first and last name, and you could call it 2021 photography or 2021 graphic design or 2021 AAVTC and save. And then once you get out of this, so I'm gonna go back up here to galleries, you will see that it has the name of your gallery here. And we'll do something <clears throat> about what photo shows up here now, but right now I just want you to, to name that. From here on out, you're going to upload, and you're going to start uploading everything we did first semester. For the rest of the school year, after you do an assignment, you will upload it to Canva as part of your assignment. So that's what we're doing. Whether you do that from home or from school, it is doable. If you are at home, what you can do when you're here in your assignment, so I'm going to go to modules. Right now I'm in uh, photography, but this is also in graphic design and AAVTC. So there's a video to watch. And then right here, it says begin uploading your photos or your projects. And if you can't find them, you can go to this link right here, and it will take you to the things that we've already done this year. So if you're in photography, you could go to commercial photography. And the things that you have turned into me are here already. I do not need self-evaluations, all right? But let's say uh, you need your fast shutter speed picture. And you click on it, you find your own, and you download it. And then that gets uploaded into Cravato. So if you're at home, you can still work on this assignment. Um, and if you can't find it on a computer, you can still work on this assignment. That's all for now. I'll give you more information to come. Love you, miss you already, go out and change your world for the better.